Welcome everybody, this is Always back with another video on the channel and this is the second video of the series of Linux uh, server using a bunch of operating system and we've been installing LAMP server in the last video and in this video I'm going to show you how you can run multiple sites on your static IP address. So for example, you have an internet connection and you have a static IP address. For example, if I go to Google and I say, what is my IP address? I'll tell you what is my IP address. Now you can see this is my IP address and now if I go and open this programming with me.com or I'll use oasjamil.com or I'll have this another one oasmirza.com all of these websites are actually running on this static IP which is my home internet so what I'm going to do here I'm going to show you how you can set up a website and how you can start your own uh, server uh, in your home so in the last video, if you're following up, remember we installed VirtualBox Ubuntu. Also, we set up a LAMP server and install of WordPress. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can configure multiple websites. I'm going to show you how you can add a DNS as well. So let me take you to my hosting company, which is GoDaddy. This is where I buy the domains from. And this is not a sponsored video whatsoever. It's just that I use the products and I used uh, to go there to buy domains. Okay, so let me log in and I'll show you one of the website has this same IP address. So I go to here, I'll see this is awaysmirza.com and here I have some A record. So here's an A record and the IP address is set to the IP address I've shown you, okay? So now what's going on here is that I'm telling somebody type awaysmirza.com and from anywhere in the world, can you please uh, let that domain go to this IP address? And that's the IP that we I'm using right now. So let me take you to the terminal and I'm going to connect to that IP address. I'm going to ask a search to it. So we'll type the username, which is always at awaysjamil.com. Press enter. It's going to ask you, hey, are you sure you want to continue connecting? I was like, yes. And it asks me the password and then type the password in. And here I am connected. So you can see this is, uh, if I say if config, it tells me on local it is 192.168.1.13. But actually it's an IP address because I went through an IP and still logged into the lo uh, local virtual box. Okay. So now here I'm going to go and type cd etc. Oops, we got to go to home directory. Clear this out. We go cd etc and Apache 2. Press enter. So in this folder, we have a sites available. So I'm going to go to cd sites available. And you can see here in the last video, we only had this one 000 default.config file. But in this video, you can see on this server, I have 002 programming with me config file. I have this osmirza.config file, osshamil.conf file. So which means that you create a separate file for each domain. I'm going to go and take you to this awaysmirza.com file and show you what is the difference between 00 default and this thing. Okay, so let's go and open this. I'll do sudo nano 003 awaysmirza.conf and it's going to ask me the password for security reason. So here you can see I'm basically adding these two keys here. I'm saying server name is awaysmirza.com and server alias is www.awaysmirza.com and rest I've just pointed to the directory of the WordPress. Basically the PHP code is in this folder var www slash awaysmirza. That's the, that's where the WordPress installation is. That's all. So when somebody types in awaysmirza, it will take me to the IP address and in that IP address, I have actually port forwarded to this 192.168.1.13. So that's actually virtual box that's running on my desktop PC. And I have port forwarded that. So I'm going to go take you to the browser and I'll show you what steps I took. So I'll do this. Uh, this is my router login. I'm going to log into it. And if you have a different router, it doesn't matter. You're going to be able to understand how you can port forward a port 80. So if I go to WAN section and I'll click on this virtual server port hosting. Here you can see I have port forwarded port 80 on 192.168.1.13 and the local port would be port 80 where my Apache server which I've shown you how to install in the last video this is where it's running. Okay that's pretty much it is. So once you get to your static IP you'll see okay the port 
uh, 80 is set to this IPv4, please go there. And there, I will have all this Apache server virtual hosting and these old sites configured as well. So whatever the server name it gets, it will link you to that file. Basically, it will take you to the folder where the WordPress installation is. That is very, very simple. So let me go through what we need to do. First of all, you need to port forward your port 80. And also, where you port forward your port 80, you have to link that port to your IP address of your virtual box. Okay, whatever is running Ubuntu server. And make sure that you select the port 80 on the local virtual box as well. And then, after that, you're going to have to install LampStack, which I've shown you in the last video of this series. And once you set up your default website and you link the folder properly, then what you have to do is go to sites available folder here. So EDC Apache to sites available, copy the default file, rename it to whatever you like. And inside that file, just add two keys and modify one more key. So first key is server name, just say whatever your domain name is. Server alias, please use www.domainname and then the extension for that. And then the document root key has to point out the proper WordPress or PHP code, uh, which is basically a drive link where your PHP code is. And it's going to go and run the code from that folder. So currently I'm running WordPress and it's basically I've shown you on the last video how to do it. Once you've done that, then anybody goes to your domain name, it will take you to the website. Not exactly. You have to go to your DNS uh, or your domain provider. So wherever you, what, when you go to the domain provider, if it's a GoDaddy, go to GoDaddy.com. Or if it's something else, please figure out how you can add a DNS or modified DNS record for that domain. So now what record you have to modify is record A. So if I look at here, we have a record type A, and that has to point out to the IP address where you want to go to. So once you set that up, then this Apache server will automatically be configured and you will run your website from your uh, IP, wherever it is, if it's your home static IP, it's your office, or I don't know how you get that IP address. And it can be, this rule can be applied to any virtual instance running on Amazon Web Services, a Google Cloud Platform, or uh, Microsoft Azure. So yeah, that was a quick video how to show you how you can run multiple sites from one server and through one IP address. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.